This is a project management application with an example of a subscription report that's emailed out that has three CSS types of buttons. If you click any of these, it would either edit the task automatically, flip it into in progress or complete the task. And the intention of this is, is to receive an email similar to like what is here. And as you look at, I'm going sideways now, as you look at the individual reports, you can click on create complete, for instance, uh, which is the, um, a little off the screen, it's the blue, the blue button, and click, and it takes you, logs you into QuickBase and actually updates the information. So these are all of your tasks inside of QuickBase. So a daily subscription allows you to be able to quickly toggle these conditions on any one of these these tasks. Let's take a look at what makes up these buttons. Uh, if I click here and edit the field properties of the edit task one, you can see we've created a CSS button here. This is a formula text field. And let's take a look at the, uh, the code that goes into making that happen. Uh, first thing is, is we're setting a variable called black uh, background color and that's this one here. You very easily could have light blue or something like that as a text in there instead of the hexadecimal value. Uh, ver setting a variable for the text color. So we're establishing the background of the button and the text color. And then we're creating this next section is, which is puts them all together. You can see we're inserting the background color and we're also inserting the text color into a new compiled uh, link which is called style. And then down below here we're creating a third variable called the, the URL. This is our intention of the button. This is uh, creating an edit record. It flips it into edit mode. Which record? Where the record ID equals record ID number. And here's the app token that gives us permission to be able to do this and then return back to from where you began. Uh, so here's the, the link. This is a little bit simpler because we're using the style, which is this variable right here. And we're using the URL which is the one that's defined here, which is this one right here. So this is one of them. There are two other ones uh, that we can look at. And uh, let's go back to the main dashboard. Let's look at completed. It's the same thing as in progress, only the status is being changed. So let's edit this one. We'll take a look at this and do the exact same thing. We'll open this up. So this one has this color as a background, this color is the text, we've created the style, and here is the API. In this situation, it's edit record. Now after we edit the record and change the value of field 13 to completed, we want to redirect back to a particular report. And that's what this does. This allows us to go back to, for instance, and establish what the query ID is that we're going to, which is back to that subscription report. And of course, there's the construction of the email right there. So once again, the intention of this is, is so that you can, on a daily basis, for instance, create a subscription report similar to the one that's here, My Daily Tasks, and that this report is sent out every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and it provides the list of all your tasks. So this email wakes up and distributes your tasks to you and someone else's tasks to someone else, and you don't see each other's tasks because the original report that is described in the subscription has that condition set into it. My, my tasks, for instance, and those tasks will only give you those that are assigned to you. 